This video is brought to you by Brilliant. Pick up a new skill or just learn more about things like science, math, engineering, computer science, and so much more thanks to Brilliant's accessible and interactive courses. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org forward slash skill up or click the link in the description. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription. Well, 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 animal well. This is the first title from solo developer Billy Basso, and also the debut for publisher Big Mode, a new indie publishing label headed by the one and only Video Game Donkey, alongside his partner in crime, Leah. Tell you what, they've got a good eye, because Animal Well is a brilliant game. In fact, I dare say this is one of the best Metroidvanias I've ever played. Animal Well encourages discovery and experimentation in a way that very few Metroidvanias do, but how I've often wished that they did. The tools that you find, the creatures you meet, the surreal imagery bordering on overstimulation. None of this makes sense to you at first, but like a newborn baby, you'll try out your new toys, you'll stick them in your mouth, you'll smack the cat with it and find out what happens. In time, you'll understand this world's laws, you'll uncover its secrets, and the satisfaction gained from overcoming its obstacles will be all the sweeter. I fear the more I talk about this game, the more I rob you of all the cool discoveries that make Animal Well such an excellent title, so I'll keep this brief and relatively spoiler free. Let's dive in. You play as this blob thing. Hard to tell exactly what it is. Could be a guinea pig. Uh, I guess we'll never know. That mystery is just one of many as you set out to explore Animal Well's strange landscape with nothing to guide you. No dialogue, no tutorials, nothing. You're taught how to move and jump, and that's it. In my first steps, I was immediately struck by the game's stunning visuals. It channels the retro gaming era with beautifully vibrant 16-bit pixel art, complete with VHS lines to sell that old-school aesthetic, but it still looks very current in the way that it uses neon lighting, colour gradients, and how it mimics reflective materials to dazzling effect. You'll also come across modern fluid and smoke simulations that contrast that pixelated harshness, appearing almost out of place at first, until I realised that 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 contrast is in service of creating a very surreal atmosphere. I began to notice peculiar symbols carved into the walls, the glowing eyes of silhouetted creatures observing me from the shadows, otherworldly spirits awoken by my presence. It's all very weird, and a lot of the more hostile animals move in this unsettling, unpredictable manner. Their procedural movements, combined with haunting sound design, would regularly make my hair stand on end. Especially given that you cannot fight them, you can only run. What the fuck is that? Oh my god, okay. It's not just what you can see, but also what you can hear. Animal Well's incredible soundscape reminds you that this place is alive. At all times, you can hear the persistent chittering of its inhabitants, the ambience of running water, and unfamiliar animal calls echoing in the background. It's what I imagine you'd hear if you were sat alone at midnight at the center of a rainforest. As you explore this dense, interconnected labyrinth, you'll begin to notice that not all those sounds are natural. There's definitely some sinister things going on beneath the surface, but I'll leave that for you to uncover for yourself. The Animal Well is equal parts eerie and tranquil, old school yet contemporary, natural and unnatural. And that constant juxtaposition gives this world an undeniable strangeness that I found endlessly engrossing. That strangeness also invites exploration. I find it's why places like the Lands Between can feel so transportive, because you just don't know what to expect around every corner, and you can't help but be curious about what lies beyond. In almost every room here, there's discoveries to be made, whether it's a platforming challenge, a collectible, secret nooks, or just something in the environment that's alien to you now, but you know will make sense later. Every find serves as a piece to this grander puzzle, and the mental notes that I was taking along the way were always rewarded once I returned with both new knowledge and new tools. Here's where Animal Well really left a lasting impression on me. This is a Metroidvania, but it's one that kind of asks you to rewire your brain in how you engage with this genre. Like, I'm pretty familiar with Metroidvania design language at this point. There's nothing wrong with the tried and true formula of unlocking abilities to access new areas. It is a rewarding loop, but I feel like that formula's felt a little stagnant recently 
instantly. Double jumps, grapple hooks, a wall smash, a ranged thing to shoot buttons, you know the drill. Aside from those samey ideas feeling rather played out, those abilities also seem a little discreet. Like sure, they often double up as combat abilities, but they're quite obvious and specific in their use case. Not too different from simply finding a special key to unlock a specific door. While that still holds true here in some capacity, Animal Well endeavours to make every new tool serve many functions, expanding your capabilities exponentially. And perhaps better still, those functions are never immediately clear. You're quite literally left to your own devices. The only way to figure out what these things do is through experimentation. How do they help with traversal? How do they interact with the world? How do they interact with the animals? These are captivating questions the game had me asking every time I unlocked a new toy and it had me so giddy to try them out. The only example I'll divulge for you here is one of the first items you pick up called a firecracker. Really had no idea what these were for but at one point I encountered this ghost thing and I panicked and chucked the firecracker and it ended up scaring it away. So that's cool but then later on I found myself in a room blanketed in darkness. Couldn't see where I was going and I thought hmm I wonder what happens when I throw one here and sure enough it lit up the entire room allowing me to more easily get to where I needed to go. As I played, I then figured out what animals are attracted to its light and which are scared away by the noise. There's so many use cases for it and that's just one of the many items you'll find, each of which share that level of versatility. You'll feel like a genius for figuring out these interactions, but the true genius here is in the masterful level and puzzle design. Puzzles in Animal Well are best described as deceptively simple, typically involving some manner of platforming to reach levers or buttons that open new pathways. As I've alluded to though, there's also the added challenge of the animals, figuring out how to use your tools to navigate the more dangerous ones, or how to use the friendly ones to your advantage. The way these puzzles are laid out and cleverly interlinked between rooms is very impressive, but what stood out to me is how they make you think about your tool set in a way that very few Metroidvanias do. There were many occasions where I'd come upon a puzzle and think, oh, I just don't have the right tool for this. Let me go find that first and this will be easy as pie. I'd fall back into that classic Metroidvania mindset, where it's often painfully clear that you're just missing the thing. So the obvious path forward is to go get that thing and circle back later. Here though, I rarely ever found the thing. I'd explore some more, find more hidden areas, some collectibles, but eventually I'd have to loop back and just stare at the puzzle for a while like a Sudoku. I'd scan the environment for subtle clues, recall how I've been asked to use these tools in the past, and then, eventually, it would just click. That feeling was electrifying, and every time it happened, I never felt frustrated. I'd just be like, oh my god, I'm a dumbass, of course. Well played, Mr. Basso. Very clever indeed. Because the functions of your tools aren't explained and there's no story to direct you, at least in the traditional sense, I found it forced me to sit a little while longer with my thoughts. The puzzles here demand you critically analyse and combine your toolkit, recall how they interact with the animals, and observe how the environment might gesture toward the solution. All this is to say that Animal Well really respects the player's intelligence, making every new find invite experimentation and every triumph over its challenges oh so sweet. What I'll remember most about Animal Well is its ability to surprise at every turn, and how it does so with an unwavering confidence that you alone will have the patience and curiosity to unravel the laws of this world and to uncover its many secrets. This is a Metroidvania distilled down to its purest form. In the absence of dialogue and combat, Animal Well is only concerned with two things, vibes and discovery, and it nails both. Its atmosphere is enchanting, its puzzles are captivating, Truth be told, I was mesmerized by this game, and I wager it'll have the same effect on many of you. I know I've been intentionally vague in this review, but you just gotta go play this game. There's so much stuff to find, you won't regret it. I sure as hell don't. It took me roughly 10 hours to complete, but there's an interesting post game that I'm yet to dive into, with loads more collectibles, tools, and secret areas waiting to be found. On the technical side too, this game runs like a dream and feels perfectly suited for the Steam Deck like many of these indie games do. One thing that blew me away was the fact that this entire game is just 30 megabytes. 
For reference, that's like one tenth the size of this video file. I can barely conceive how that's possible, but man, kudos for pulling that off. Animal Well is a masterclass in Metroidvania game design and a sterling example of the indie scene's boundless creativity. What a spectacular debut for both Billy Basso and Big Mode. Animal Well releases today on PC, PS5 and Nintendo Switch, and I strongly recommend it. Do you ever do that thing that I do where you just cruise on YouTube at 1am clicking on random videos about how stuff works? Like, oh, so that's how astronauts go to the bathroom in space, I guess. Nice to know. See, it's good to be curious, even about weird stuff like that. And if you're a curious person, then maybe you want to check out this video sponsor, Brilliant. If you haven't heard of them before, they provide really accessible, really interactive ways to learn about things like science, mathematics, engineering, computer science, and more. They have courses big and small, simple and in-depth, all of them illuminating something that seemed at first impenetrable, but really you just needed someone to explain it to you properly or you needed to learn by doing which is another thing that Brilliant excels at since its courses almost always contain some interactive element that lets you apply and test your learning on the spot. What makes it really great is that they have a mobile app and all of their courses have been formatted to be delivered through mobile. The courses are always really well structured and broken down into manageable chunks and they actually gamify your learning giving you experience points and achievements for completing courses and gradually upping the complexity as you get more proficient in a topic. So now, at least once a day, I boot up Brilliant, chip away at a course, learn something new, and I know that I've fed my brain something more useful. It's like doing a mini gym workout, but for your brain. This stuff isn't just interesting, mind you, it can also be really useful. If you work in data programming, then the stuff you learn here can help you be better at your job, and just having a sharper, more curious mind is gonna hold you in good stead no matter what you're doing. I actually just finished a course on large language models or LLMs. These are things that power most of the AI tools that have popped up and regardless of what you think about AI, it's really useful to at least understand how that technology works because it's probably gonna have a pretty big impact on our lives in the future. If you're interested, you can try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days by visiting brilliant.org forward slash skill up or click the link in the description below. You'll also get 20% off an annual premium subscription if you click that link. That's brilliant.org forward slash skill up. Thanks, Brilliant, for sponsoring the video and thank you for watching it.